Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So we've been given the first four terms of a quadratic sequence and we're going to work out how to write down the nth term in the form an squared plus bn plus c. And the way we do this is, first of all, we do the hardest bit, which is working out the, the an squared, so in other words, the, the coefficient of n squared. And then we deal with the other part, which is really just like writing down the nth term in a linear sequence. So that will give us the bn plus c. So I like to write down the, um, the sequence, first of all, in a table. So let's start off with, um, first of all, numbering the terms. So we've got four terms. So that's one, two, three, and four. And let's call each term t. So the first term is seven. Second term, 28 third term 65, and the fourth one 118. So it can be easier to think about this if we've put this in a table to start with. And all we need to do to find the uh, coefficient of n squared in our formula is to work out not just the differences between these terms, but the differences between those differences. And that should end up giving us the same number. The differences of the differences should be the same each time. And we do something to that to get the, the A in this formula. So we start off by working out the difference between 7 and 28. So 28 minus 7 is 21. And we do this along here. So we've got the difference between 28 and 65 is 37. And then the next difference, 118 minus 65, so that's 53. And then we should find that the two differences here are the same as each other. So 37 minus 21 is 16, and 53 minus 67 is also 16. So now that number is going to give us the coefficient of n squared in the formula that we're looking for. And all we need to do with that number is to divide it by 2. And that gives us the coefficient of n squared, so that we know that our formula is going to start off 8n squared. So that bit's done. And now we just need to find out what the b and the c are for the bn plus c. Now, what we know is that this formula is made up of 8n squared plus something. So all we need to do is subtract off 8n squared from our sequence that we've got, and then it will be easy to find the linear sequence. So let's just get rid of this, some of this working here to give ourselves some more space. And now what we're going to do is we are going to subtract 8n squared from each term. So now you can see why I really wanted to start off the table with the n, so that we can see what we're doing. So we're just going to write down what minus 8 times n squared is for each value of n. So we're starting off in the first column, so n is 1, so minus 8 times 1 squared will be minus 8. So we'll do the whole row first and then come back and work out what we get. So the next column is going to be minus 8 times 2 squared. So minus 8 times 4, so minus 32. And then we've got minus 8 times 3 squared, so minus 8 times 9, so minus 72. And then the last one, minus 8 times 4 squared, so minus 8 times 16, so minus 128. And then we are going to work out what we get when we subtract 8n squared from the term that we're on. So that that's going to give us the bn plus c that we're looking for in our formula. It's going to give us the linear part of the nth term. So 7 minus 8 is minus 1. 28 minus 32 is minus 4. 65 minus 72 is negative 7. And 118 minus 128, that gives us negative 10. So now you'll find that this sequence here is a linear sequence. If it isn't, that means we've gone wrong. 
So what we do now is work out the differences between these terms here. And we can see what we're doing is each time we are subtracting 3. So you know that if you were to write down the nth term for this sequence, for minus 1, minus 4, and so on, that this, the minus 3, is the number that multiplies the n. And then we would look at what the previous term is. So looking at the first term in the sequence here, this linear sequence, which is negative 1, and doing the opposite of subtracting 3, so we add 3, so minus 1 plus 3 is going to be plus 2. That gives us minus 3n plus 2. So this is the formula for the last line. So for example, we could check the fourth term. So when n equals 4, we should get minus 10. So when n is 4, we get minus 3 times 4 plus 2. So minus 12 plus 2 is equal to minus 10. So that formula looks as if it's working OK for that line there. But the most important thing is that we found the rest of the formula that we want for our quadratic sequence. All we need to do is write it after the 8n squared. So we've got 8n squared minus 3n plus 2. So that sequence is generated by this formula. So let's do a check on that one. So this time let's check a different number. So we'll check n equals 3. So this time we ought to get the third term in, in the original sequence, so we should get 65. So we've got 8 times 3 squared, minus 3 times 3, plus 2. So that's going to be 72, minus 9, plus 2. So 63 plus 2, 65, so that seems to have worked for n equals 3. So the formula that we're looking for is 8n squared minus 3n plus 2.